The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Nearly 70 years of quality HVAC tools. What's going on, everybody? It's Wednesday, October the 6th. It's raining. I don't know if you guys can tell. You probably can't, but it's raining. It's cold. Well, I got a call this morning from a good customer of mine that said that he didn't have any heat and he was really cold. And uh, so I get here. And I've been to this house before. Matter of fact, I did a video on it. And uh, I changed out the Linux coil. I'll put a link at the end of the video. Uh, a box where you can click on the video from this house. Well, I never paid attention because I've only worked on the Linux system. He's got two old train systems. Uh, I think they're XL 1400s or 1200s or something like that. They're two three tons. Well, I go up, you know, and I'm like, hey, so where's the furnaces at? Because I knew he had two train units. And the Linux is a heat pump because it was added on later. And the, the train is gas. And I said, where's the, the furnaces at? He said, well, there's only one furnace. And I said, well, you, you got two outdoor units. He goes, yeah, but I only got one furnace. And I said, oh, okay. So when I get up there, I have one train furnace it's a it's a two-stage gas variable speed blower and it's a five ton blower it's only made to move 2000 cfm and then when i look at the evaporator it's a five ton evaporator with dual circuits it's got two txvs on it and and it's got an a circuit and a b circuit now I, there was a guy here he was a train dealer here years ago and he that's how he would two-stage that's how he did two-stage equipment but the problem is I called train and gave him the model numbers of the condenser because the condensers are three tons. So he's got six tons worth of condensers on five tons worth of evaporator and furnace. I can't really go in there and tell the customer that, it, that, that it's all mismatched, even though it is because they're going to bounce back and say, well, it's been working since 1998. So I'm not even going to try that. But the point of the video is, is that and guys, I can't get you any 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 film of the work. I'm sorry, uh, because the guy stays right there with me. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this system. <clears throat> now, I figured y'all would be interested. The, the The problem is the heat exchanger is cracked. When the furnace fires up, uh, you know the inducer comes on, pressure switch closes, the igniter comes on, gas valve opens, bam, she fires, no problem. All that's fine. But when the damn blower motor kicks on, I'll try to get a shot. I, I'm gonna try so hard to get a shot of this for y'all. When that blower motor kicks on, the, the fucking flames just start tumbling, like pushing towards me, you know, towards the outside of the cabinet. So the heat exchanger's cracked. Now, I am trying, oh shit, we're getting sleet. Uh, I'm gonna try to get them to replace the entire system. Get rid of those two train condensers outside. Get rid of the, well, the furnace has to go. And get rid of that evaporator. And I'm gonna try to move them to an inverter. The reason is, is because his wife is very, very intelligent lady and she really likes me. And, uh, you know, she's a good customer. She, because uh, it, when you when you watch the if you watch if you choose to watch the video on the Linux, I went behind another company and I'll, I, it, it explains all that in the video. But she trusts me because I did her right when the other company didn't. And I'm gonna try to talk her into tearing everything out and going with an inverter. That's gonna be the smart thing to do. And the reason I'm gonna put them on an inverter is because. They're used to that two-stage technology. They're used to, you know, having high stage and low stage. And if I put them a single-stage system in, I don't think they're going to be happy. So, and plus, I, I want people to buy inverters anyway. And this lady, she, she, she can afford it. And that's what they need to do. So, I got to call. I can't call her for a few more minutes because of her work. But I'm going to call her. And I'm going to tell her what's going on. Now, if she wants to change out just the furnace, that's up to her, but we're going to have to go back with a variable speed, two-stage fire gas furnace in order to, for the system to continue to work correctly the way that it's set up in the air conditioner. 
but I'm really, really hoping that I can get her to go and rip everything out and go with an inverter. That, that would really be the best thing for her to do. And this would be a great job. Now, one, if, if I do get the job, I know I'm gonna get one of them. I mean, they, they gotta at least replace the furnace. So, if I get the, if, if I get the furnace job, I might film it, but if I get the, the inverter job, I'm gonna definitely try to film it so I can show y'all everything and, you know, show y'all what we're taking out versus what we're going back with. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm not gonna sit here and ramble on too long. I'm going to call her in a few minutes and see which way she wants to go. And I will update you guys at the end of this video and let you know if she chose the inverter or if she chose the furnace only. All right, guys. Well, it looks like it's going to be the inverter. Uh, yeah, I'm not, somebody's going to comment on my train jacket. <laughs> so uh, it's the only jacket that I have right now that's HVAC related. I'm, uh, my comfort maker sales rep is in the process of getting me some comfort maker jackets. So, but uh, train gave me this jacket when I was a train dealer. But anyway, um, it looks like it's going to be the inverter. I got off the phone with her and she said, no, I'm not changing just the furnace. She goes, if I'm going to do it, we're going to do the whole thing. She's a very intelligent woman and she's a very nice woman. You know, she's a great customer. She really is. And, uh, but she's smart and she's doing her research you know she asked me for the website i gave her the website to comfort maker and she's going to do some research on the on the inverter technology um but she told me you know to go on ahead and be prepared to, to get it done now she's going to call and give me a final answer in the morning and she even told me she goes you know john i'm not telling you to pull the trigger right now she goes but let me ponder on it till in the morning she said but you know you know me, it, you know I'm gonna call you back and tell you to do it. And when she says that, that, that that's pretty much telling me it's a go. So anyway, so I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Another inverter, um, looking forward to it. And I will try to get some film on the job. All right guys, sorry there was actually, there wasn't any actual working footage, um, but I'm, I got some of that coming up too. But I wanted to do this video. I thought you guys might be interested to hear about this job. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you all on the next one.